Hey guys, look who is back. Now, I know I said at the start of this year and I did a vlog and I was like, I'm coming back, I'm gonna start vlogging again because I miss it so much. I'm not gonna leave it loads of time like last time. Look what happened. Have I vlogged since? No, I have not. But it's autumn. It's middle of October um, and this morning, whilst I was having my breakfast, I was just catching up on a few vlogs and stuff like that because I haven't actually watched YouTube in ages. So I was catching up on a few vlogs from people I watch, our friend Charlotte as well, she's been doing Vlogtober and I love her vlogs. And then I got watching a couple of my old ones from like autumn time and stuff like that as well. And I was just like, do you know what? I actually miss it so much. Like I used to love vlogging but also documenting like what I'm getting up to and then like years later being able to come back and watch it and I've got like several years of my life now where I haven't done this that I can't actually go back and do that whereas like when I first moved to Brighton and I was at uni and stuff I've got so many vlogs and so much stuff to go back and watch I just haven't had that for a while and I, I want that again so I was like there's no time like the present I'm just gonna do it again it's the middle of the week this is gonna be a weekly vlog starting like it's a Thursday today, I think. Um, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna see how long I can stick with it. Don't hold me to it, as we all know that I'm not the best <laughs> at sticking with it, but I'm really gonna try this time because like I said, I really do miss it. And I love like having this documented and like being creative, making videos and stuff. So I'm also at a point in my life where there's actually more like exciting stuff happening quite a lot at the moment. So um yeah hopefully there's stuff to show you i'm kind of gutted that i didn't start this like at the weekend last week where we went like pumpkin picking and stuff like i picked loads of little cute pumpkins from tully's and you can actually probably see like our whole house is like i've like let go of the autumn bomb and like is decorated everywhere i've got like my pumpkin mugs like it's fully my season and so this is the best time for me to come back and start vlogging again so i've got a few bits to do today i've got some work to do um if you don't know me and ellie have our own business now very exciting but i also still work part-time in a restaurant like the restaurant that i used to work in when i was at um uni like it's been like nine years now i've been there so long um, so I still do the odd shift there and tonight it's one of our colleagues leaving days and she's been with us for like six or seven years now so she's moving away so we're all having a surprise leaving day for her so that's gonna be really fun actually. Ellie has been in London um, since last night, no since like two nights ago actually. Um, so she's on her way back. Um, I've just been doing some tidying around the flat this morning. I need to do some laundry. And yeah, I've got a bit of work to do, but then I think we're gonna, Ellie's coming back. She's got an event tonight, like this full moon swim. I need to have a shower, shave and everything, get ready. And then we've got this event tonight. So it should be quite fun. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna be doing some bits around the house and I'll catch up with you later. Just making a coffee our little machine. Um, I've got some pumpkin spice syrup, obviously it is the season. Um, and I'm gonna use my pumpkin mug as well. So yeah, just make a little cough cough and then I'm gonna make some lunch, I think. I've got ingredients to make one of our favorite um, stews, this butter bean stew. So I'll try and show you that as well because it's so yummy, but I'm gonna make this coffee, which is quite hard to do one handed, so. Okie dokie, time to try it well and stir this syrup into the espresso. Let's see if I can try and do some nice latte art as well. Um, okay, one-handed. So this is gonna be very difficult. So normally I would tilt the mug as well. Let's see if we can do it. I always find it harder with this machine at home. Oh, it's kind of. There we go. Sort of. Mmm, yum. So I'm just gonna make lunch now. I feel like for this whole vlog, I've actually like had like significant times between each of these clips, but I'm always stood in the same place. Anyhow, butter bean stew. Um, these are like my favorite beans. Like I'm on a right old bean hype at the moment and bold bean co are my favorite. These butter beans. Um, I've got some pancetta and chorizo, which I kind of fry off in the pan first slice up some mushrooms and then some spinach and some cavallonero. I normally put thyme in like herb wise but I don't have any so I'm probably gonna try a bit of rosemary and then I've got some like leftover tomatoes and peppers which I'm just gonna like put in the air fryer until they go all jammy and then add them at the end and it's like really good and then just some like garlic and at the end just a swirl of like creme fraiche as well um but yeah it's like 
such a hearty autumnal filling stew. Really, really good. You can make it vegan if you wanted. You could like substitute the creme fraiche. Also, I put chicken stock in as well. But yeah, things like the chicken stock and the creme fraiche, you could definitely substitute. And yeah, it's really delicious. Let's see if there's some that I can put. It's kind of, it's giving makeshift. This kitchen is like kind of all over the place for filming because like the lighting's really harsh, but I've got my handy little, this one, put that there. Bit better. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna start cooking this stew. Is that too much? Maybe over here. We're gonna go with it. So annoying. My camera keeps going really weird and like stop filming and then starts again. I don't know what's going on. I feel like this is gonna fall, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, I'm getting my pan hot and then the first thing I'm gonna do is add the chorizo. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, so actually it's quite an exciting time for me to start vlogging again because in literally just over a month now, um, towards the end of November, I'm going on my annual trip to Seattle, which is really exciting. Um, and obviously I haven't been vlogging the last couple of years when I've been, so this is my third year going. I've got friends out there that were kind of like pen pals and then we met a couple of years ago. Um, and this is my third year going out there at the same time of year in November um, for Thanksgiving, um, which is really, really fun. So it's my third year celebrating Thanksgiving. Um, so hopefully I will still be vlogging and I'll be vlogging there. I mean, it is likely because I do want to get a lot of content whilst I'm out there this year because Seattle is so beautiful. Um, that whole part of America is actually so beautiful. Yeah, and I want to capture lots of content, so it'll be exciting. And Thanksgiving is really fun. I do want to get out there at a different time of year because this is the third year I've got it at literally the exact same time, which is really lovely. I'm very much a traditions kind of person, um, but I would love to explore it at a different time of year as well. Um, but I am very excited for that and I'm very fortunate, so. Um, which spoon do I want? Okay, so yeah, I'm just frying off the chorizo and the pancetta. That's gonna be really loud. I'm gonna put it on the second setting. I'm frying off the chorizo and the pancetta until it goes nice and crispy at the bottom of the pan. And then I will add in the mushrooms, which I need to slice would be useful. I'm gonna boil the kettle as well whilst I remember because I need to put some hot water in with the stock as well. All right, let's slice these mushrooms. It's like old times, welcome to an episode of Cooking with Jim. Let's slice up these mushrooms. I like them quite chunky, like not too thinly sliced, like quite thick slices. And I forgot to check what the time is. I've got a couple of things I still need to do and then I really need to get ready because I need to meet uh, my colleague Megan at the place where we're doing the leaving party tonight at like six-ish to help set up. So I actually have no idea what the time is right now. I'm probably running really far behind as usual, but I need to make my lunch. So there we go. Ah! Ow, that's spitting at me, that's hot. Let me add these mushrooms in because they need to fry off. those in and I'm just gonna cook those off with the pancetta and the chorizo for a little while because all the oils have been released from the pancetta and the chorizo and then I'll come back to you in a second. Why is this not stopping filming? Okay so I've added the butter beans in, this is how it's looking. I added the stock cube and a bit of hot water as well so I am now, I put the tomatoes and the peppers in the air fryer and then I just need to add some of our greens into the pot. Also, it's Ellie's birthday next week, so actually lots of exciting things coming up to vlog about, which is nice. I've just added in the greens. It looks like loads, but obviously they will down. Also, side note, can I just say, cavalonero is like my favorite thing, but like, what is it? Is it a cabbage? Is it, a, is it like, it's like a leafy green, I think, spring greens, whatever they call them. Um, obsessed with it. So yeah, I'm just gonna let all that wilt down and then keep it bubbling away until everything else is ready and then at the last minute stir in the creme fraiche. Also, I just realized I had some leftover mashed potato. Oh my God. I had some leftover mashed potato. So I'm just gonna mash that up, stir in an egg or two, 
and make some potato waffles with it because I think that'll go nicely with the butter bean stew and it uses up the leftovers and also I don't use my waffle maker enough so any excuse. And there we have it, a nice delicious hearty bowl of butter bean stew with some homemade potato waffles, yum. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> 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 Come on, Ma. Come on, off We're we go. About how, um, um, when I came for my interview, Ma like had a little chat with me before, and when I left, <laughs> she was like, "I hope you get the job." <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Andy, I said, "Yes." Yes, get her. <laughs> get, get her. Get her in. ASP, please. ASP. <laughs> so I'm going back to Oxford for the weekend. Um, in quite a surprise turn of events, actually. Um, well, originally I was meant to have a meeting with a client in London today. So um, I was like, oh, that's already half the journey. I might as well go to Oxford. Afterwards, spend the weekend there. Um, and that meeting didn't go ahead. Um, but now, I was like, you know what, it'd be really nice to go back and see my family for the weekend anyway, because I had a weekend in Oxford. I always love going back to this time of the year in the autumn and stuff, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. But then I went out last night, as you probably saw, um, for my colleagues to even do, which was really lovely actually, but um, back quite late, so let's say. Um, so I had a bit of a slow day, so I didn't end up leaving ours, like I didn't end up leaving Brighton until around 3pm. Um, so it's now half five because the train needs to be a nightmare and I only just at Gatwick. Um, but I'm on the train that goes directly to Reading now, so I get to avoid London, which is nice. And then my sister's going to pick me up from a uh, train station close to ours. And yeah, it should be a nice weekend, so that'll be the <laughs> been home for literally less than an hour oh, no. and the dog attacks a hedgehog so now we're having to take said hedgehog to the vets on where's your keys on Friday. Again. had to pay 30 pounds for insurance on eve's car because she's had a drink so i've had to insure myself because i haven't drunk anything and we're taking a bloody hedgehog to the vets so first time driving the fred james. yeah first time driving the fiesta let's give it a go oh my god my legs are cold Okay, we've dropped off Hermione the Hedgehog. Hermione! They're going to give us updates and we might be able to come and pick it up again like so that we can make sure it gets returned. Luna. Yeah. Make sure it gets returned to the same place where it came from in our garden because oh, otherwise it might have family. Well, driving Eve's car was fun. How do you feel about driving your car? I was so high. I was yeah. just hanging on for a hedgehog for dear life. I know, poor hedgehog, but hopefully it's going to be okay now. Anyway, drive back home now. Look at her. Butter wouldn't melt. You silly animal. You know? Oi! I told you, she's been so sulking all day. Yeah. That's what happens when you hunt hedgehogs. Are you being a good girl now? Are you? Look at you. <laughs> you all wrapped up. You all wrapped up. Hey? Oh. Yeah, what do we say? We don't hunt hedgehogs, do we? No, we do not hunt hedgehogs. Look at you. Look at the way she sits. It's so funny. It's like she's a little person, isn't it? Lena! Look at you. You're so funny. You've been guard dog. You've been a little guard dog. So it is Saturday now, we've just been chilling today. Eve's been at work this morning after all that fiasco with the bloody hedgehog last night. Hmm? What do you have to say? What do you have to say about that? We're naughty, aren't we? We don't hunt hedgehogs. It's like, she doesn't learn. Like our garden, we've got quite a big back garden. Um, well, my family's home. And she, at night time, we have to have her out on the lead to go for a wee because otherwise, she will literally be hunting these hedgehogs and she doesn't learn. Like she gets them in her mouth and then her mouth gets all bloody because like, the spines are pricking her and the poor hedgehogs we always have to try and save. She just doesn't learn, but I guess that's just dog instincts, isn't it? 
So it's literally a case of like save the hedgehogs, um, as you saw last night. Um, but yes, Eve just got back from work. We just had a chill day today. I've been like just watching a bit of TV, doing a few other things. Um, and then tonight, so we're actually just getting ready now. Actually, it's like early evening. Um, we're going into Oxford because a new permit room by Deshume has opened. Um, we have one in Brighton, which I absolutely love. Like me and Ellie go there all the time. Um, but yeah, they've opened one up in Oxford. And when it's the soft launch, they do like 50% off all the food. So um, yeah, I'm taking Eve and her boyfriend and we're going to go for some nice dinner, which should be good. Just making sure Luna goes to the toilets before we go out and leave her. But look how beautiful, like autumn looks here back in the countryside like i'll show you these trees like that is so beautiful it's like properly golden hour so nice makes me feel all festive and seasonal doesn't it luna lee go on go for weebies go on we managed to get our table Food is so good here. I'm telling Eve and Jack what's good. Like my favourites are the chicken pick me ups. Oh, was it not big so. Um they also do the uh chicken ruby, which is amazing, and the black doll, which you have to get every time you come. This is what I'm liking so far. Yeah. The, the drinks. The cup. I'm getting a kiwi colada. Where's that? Uh on the frozen. It's what it looks like. It's very busy, which is good to see. Good. Mm. Wow. So we've got the ruby chicken, the garlic naan, we've got berry, chicken berry Britannia and the black dal. Digging and, and the half chicken tandoori. I haven't tried this before, so I'm excited. Um, we decided to go to and try one of each dessert, so there's three of us. So we're just going to share. And what's your thoughts on Dashim so far, guys? Oh, well, yes, permit room, really sorry. Good. What was your favourite from the savouries? The black dal. Yeah. Black dal. And then the cocktails, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Good. Right, let's try these. Hi guys, I am home now and um, I not long got back. It's Sunday evening um, and I just got the train home today. Um, back to Brighton. Um, it was a really lovely short but sweet weekend um, back in Oxford. So that was really, really lovely. And it's been really nice to be able to vlog again. Like I said, like I just miss doing it and like having that kind of creative outlet, but also having the record like on my YouTube to go back and watch in years to come and just seeing what I was getting up to like that's why I always used to enjoy doing this so um it's been nice to get back into it again and hopefully I will keep up with it I've got lots happening over the next few weeks like I said so um yes hopefully there will be more it is Ellie's birthday this week um it's also the year passing of her um ma of losing her mum so it's going to be quite a difficult week but we want to just celebrate her birthday as well so um yeah it's going to be a difficult week but also an exciting one with lots planned so um you'll see that in the next week's vlog but yes don't want to end on too much of a solemn note but um it's been a nice week so far so uh thank you for watching as always if you're new here please subscribe check out my other socials i'm on instagram and tiktok under the same username jimrex um, and yes, I will see you all next time.